Our spat of activities lined up to commemorate the second year in office of Governor Babajide Sanwolu, the Lagos State Ministry of Education wheeled out its achievements in the education sector. At this ministerial press briefing, the Commissioner for Education in the state, Mrs. Polashadi Adifisaya, said over 15,000 primary school teachers have been trained under the EcoExcel initiative aimed at using modern technology to enhance teaching efficiency. Mr. Governor introduced the EcoExcel program with a lot of fanfare. You can see the teachers, they are holding up their tablets. And again, in keeping with the themes agenda, this was at the nexus of education and uh, technology. So we've trained all our primary school teachers, over 15,000 of them, and deployed technology, giving them tablets to teach in the classroom, and the data-driven uh, uh, platform, which you can track learning across all our schools. We can even track when teachers come to school, what they are doing in school. So even things like absenteeism and so on have reduced significantly. She said a security improvement program was also organized to ensure the safety of students in the schools. As part of the security improvement program, we didn't just build and go. We also had to skill up our community as well. So we had this uh, security improvement program together with the police command, the uh, commissioner of police himself was there and he addressed us and gave us tips on the management of uh, security across our schools. How to manage the students, how to manage the teachers, how to manage the parents, how to live within the community. The commissioner added that the state government has reviewed and optimized the school curriculum. First of all, we had to review our book list and we've reviewed the book list and we're sharing with schools uh, in the state. But secondly, we now looked at the curriculum, including the trade subjects, right from early years, nursery up to senior secondary. And we infused with the critical 21st century skills, which include critical thinking and problem solving, and so on, creativity and imagination, digital literacy. And this is going to be uploaded onto an app eventually. Right now, it's in hard copy, but in keeping with the themes agenda of education and technology, we are going to put this in on an app so that people can access it. Mrs. Adifisayo said the state government has been able to bring back to school out-of-school children through the Lagos State Universal Basic Education Board and its partners. State Universal Basic Education Board has also introduced what they call the Project Zero, saying that we have zero tolerance towards any child being out of school. And 4,500 children were identified after the lockdown as not coming back. And one by one, we've been able to bring them back to school. They were tracked and they have been reinstated. We worked with the private sector and they got them. What, why are you not coming back to school? Once they found out why, they gave them what well, you know what they needed she added that during the lockdown the state government introduced radio and television programs to ensure that education continues throughout the lockdown one thing we did with our students was that and this many people did not believe we could do this but that we continue teaching and learning first of all starting from the lowest form of technology we could use which was radio and television and eventually moving online the radio and television programs continue even to this day the commissioner said the state government paid so much attention to school infrastructure with over 1,097 school infrastructure commissioned across the state. The focus area number one is infrastructure. Now, we all know when people talk about education, they always say the most critical factor is teaching. Yes, it is. You cannot beat the quality of teaching. And if you build great schools, you don't have good teachers, it still comes to nothing. But we knew that the children had to learn in a conducive atmosphere. At least let it be somewhere where they'll be comfortable and feel safe. Not just the students, but also their teachers. That they will be comfortable, they would have staff rooms, toilets, and so on. So the first thing was the construction and upgrade of public schools infrastructure. There are five agencies that are responsible for this. And the Ministry of Education itself, the Lagos State uh, Universal Basic Education Board, the Lagos State Infrastructure Maintenance and Management Agency, LASIAMA, and the Special Committee on Rehabilitation of Public Schools, as well as the, as the Lagos State Vocational Education Board. Together, these agencies have worked on 1,097 projects across 970 schools in the past two years.
On technology, the commissioner said the state government partnered with corporate organizations to ensure that technology is infused into education. In partnership with a number of organizations that are listed here, ranging from GIZ, Ecodisco, uh, First Bank, uh, British Council, we partnered with Robert and John in providing mobile devices with our curriculum tests and quizzes to students. 20,000 cell phones were donated by First Bank, 7,000 by FMDQ, and a lot more other organizations that are on that list also donated. And these were all given to our students across uh, the district. For children with special needs, the commissioner disclosed that new inclusive schools have been constructed to ensure no child is left behind. If we are providing education to all children, then no child should be left behind. And regardless of the child's uh, abilities or disabilities. And so we are re inaugurating the Lagos State Orphans and Vulnerable uh, Technical Committee, and we are working on all our schools. We are, we are even setting up new inclusive schools. Right now, we have 31 primary and about 15 secondary inclusive schools where children who are learning challenge can go to school with other children. It's important that they learn to socialize. Greater focus falls on training of students and pupils in the areas of basic computer skills, coding skills, cloud service, internet technology, interactive and visualized coding to prepare them for the global information technology requirement. We won the year 2020 presidential inter-suburb school debate at Abuja, competing against all other schools in the Federation. Oriwu Senior Model College in Okorodu won the best school in the public senior secondary school category. And at the last JET competition, that is Junior Engineers, Technicians and Scientists, we won 11 medals and 10 trophies, second overall best state and best national female prize. And in accordance with the promise made by Mr. Governor, he gave 12 cars, brand new cars, uh, to three primary school teachers, three junior secondary school teachers, three senior secondary school teachers, a primary school administrator, a junior school administrator, and a senior school administrator. Mrs. Adifisayo also revealed the plans the state government has in the pipeline. We want to establish a radio station solely dedicated to education. We are going to launch six mathematics laboratories just like the ones that Casio donated and they are promised that they will themselves donate the six labs to us uh, in every district will have a mathematics lab. We roll out oh, uh, units, uh, 150 units of computer systems across our state vocational uh, colleges and even a lot more than that. We are going to roll out another 30,000 devices across all our schools. Uh, this has been approved and we are going ahead with that because we will keep on working until we put more and more devices in the hands of our students, complete with our scheme of work so that this will help them to learn. The special advisor to the governor on education, Barista Tokumbo Wahab, said the Digital Skills Initiative correlates with the state government's vision for education and technology, which is the third pillar of the themes agenda of Governor Babajide Songolu. We have the initiative called the Digital Skills Initiative Lagos 2020. Under this initiative, we're able to train 120,000 students and pupils in our public primary and secondary schools in 720 schools across the six educational districts in the state. Teach them coding, scratching, cloud, and odd stuff. He added that the successes recorded in the Digital Skills Lagos has encouraged the state government to commence the phase two of the program, which aims at empowering youths and young students of Lagos State. A total of 25,000 students have so far benefited from various ICT training programs under the phase two of the scheme. We now have a phase two. The phase two was meant to engage those students between leaving school as school start holders or primary school leavers and then trying to gain admission. Because one of the lessons from the end south crisis was that we had a lot of our youth not fully engaged. So to this end, we were able to um, engage 25,000 of our youths and then empower them across the state. The Lagos State Government also embarked on full rehabilitation, rebranding and digitalization of public schools' libraries to complement classroom teaching and learning. We choose to select us, engage and pick libraries in all our public schools across the state, fit them up, upgrade them and put in place 
IT facilities for all our libraries. And so far, we've done 107 public libraries across the state in our public schools. I want to appreciate each and every one of us for coming. Uh, thank you for the wonderful thing you are doing. Let me also use this opportunity to appreciate the man of the moment, the man who has shown passion, commitment to the development of education in the state, uh, Mr. Babajide Ulushola Sonwulu, our able governor. We want to specially thank him for the collaborative governance he has introduced. The Babajide Sonwulu administration has been proactive in bringing a total reform to address the various challenges and improve the education sector.